perform the multiplications. We have here something, v to the two-thirds, times a sum, v to the one-third plus v to the four-thirds. So anytime we have one thing times a sum, we know that we can go ahead and distribute this thing and multiply each term of the sum. So I'll take v to the two-thirds, two-thirds, times v to the one-third. And then I'll take v to the two-thirds times v to the four-thirds. And then I'll go ahead and add them. All right. Well, I have the same base here, v and v, so I can just add my exponents. v to the two-thirds plus one-third is three-thirds. Here, again, same base, v and v, so I can take my exponents add and add them. Two-thirds plus four-thirds is six-thirds. Three over three, that's one, so this is just v to the first power. Oh, I didn't write my base there. And uh, six over three, that's two, so this is a v squared. So our solution is v plus v squared. I should note that um, when doing this cube root, because after all, a three in the denominator denotes a cube root, um, I need to pay attention or recall that I'm taking a root. In the case of cube roots or fifth roots or seventh roots or odd powered roots, um, it's not terribly important to, to recall that it's a root. But anytime we have an even number in the denominator, then I really need to recall that I'm taking a root because um, square roots and fourth roots and sixth roots, even powered roots, um, when I cancel, uh, that root out, when I'm able to, say, take a square root of something squared, um, then I have to introduce some absolute value signs. Um, here, since I'm canceling out that cube root, and cube roots don't have that extra stipulation where I need to add absolute value signs, I didn't need to do anything extra. But uh, keep in mind, more generally, if you're doing a root and it's written as a fraction, you still need to obey the rules of roots. Namely, if you stop writing the root, if something uh, no longer is under a square root symbol or un in to a fractional power, well, I need to make sure that the thing was positive if I was dealing with an even numbered root, a square root or a fourth root. Um, cube roots, fifth roots, seventh roots, I don't have to think of that consideration. So in this case, we're just done. There's our answer.